Welcome to a special edition of Heritage of Truth. Today we want to honor those who have helped to keep America free. Today our guest is Kevin Downs. He's an actor and movie producer. You might remember him from his role in Courageous. Welcome, Kevin. Thank you for having me today. I appreciate it. You are starring in a new movie that's going to be out July 1st in theaters called Faith of Our Fathers. And that stars um, you and Stephen Baldwin, David A.R. White, Rebecca St. James, Cy Robinson, and Candace Cameron Bure. Wow, what a list. Yeah, it's a great cast. It's a really good cast, fun cast. Yeah, it is. Well, tell us about Faith of Our Fathers and what drew you to this particular story and time period. Well, Faith of Our Fathers, uh, first of all, is an original screenplay by the director, Carrie Scott. And uh, David White and I, when we first came across it, uh, we were excited about the concept of making a film that honored our veterans. And uh, in all of our filmographies combined, we had never done a film uh, that really was so uh, intimate and, and really honored and lifted our veterans up and thanked them for the service that they they have given us and their families and the sacrifices that their families have made. And so um, it, it's, it's a film that honors our veterans, but yet also uh, wonderfully weaves the gospel in a very intimate setting and a story that uh, really uh, uh, lays out the importance of fatherhood and fathering and these two sons that uh, learn about their fathers through letters and realize how much their fathers love them, that they would give their lives for them. One of the strengths in this movie, as I see it, is that the faith message is integrated so well into the story. It's not tacked on. And I've yeah. noticed that faith-based films are getting better at this. So mm -hmm. um, what, what do you think made it so authentic and applicable in this particular movie? Well, first of all, it took, uh, it took us seven years to make the film. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, you know, it, it's, I've, I had a lot of help and, and, and just everybody that was involved with it on the producing side, from David White to my brother to the director, Kerry Scott, um, and then Alex Kendrick, who obviously, you know, him and I with Courageous, he's a director of Courageous and, and mm -hmm. Fireproof and War Room, which is his new movie coming out. Mm -hmm. um, Alex was my main editor and um, just loved all the work that he put into it. And Dave DeVos, also the other editor. And so there's just a lot of us that really kind of worked together to be able to bring uh, what I believe was the best, uh, best way to honor our veterans in a story that just really focused on them and the families and the sacrifices they made. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, besides starring in the film, were you involved in any other part of the production like your brother was? Yeah, it was, uh, I was the producer of the film. So every, every aspect of the film went through me. So, um, uh, it was, this has sort of been my project for the last seven years in between the other films that I've been doing. And, um, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with it and happy with the response that we're getting, getting with it. And, uh, and you know, this 4th of July, it's what a better way to celebrate our veterans than to grab one and take them to the movie theater and see Faith of Our Fathers. Yeah. Why do you think that this is an appropriate time to do a movie about the Vietnam War? Well, you know what? Here's what I've learned. I actually, what I've learned is, is any time is an appropriate time to remember these guys because I've learned that they, they, they feel forgotten and they are forgotten. And a lot of them, you know, two and a half million veterans came home from that war and many of them just hung up their uniforms in their closet or threw them away and just sort of quietly integrated into society. And um, I, I just think they should be remembered and we should never forget them. And as a filmmaker, you know, we have the ability to be able to um, weave and, and tell stories uh, in a way that, you know, brings focus onto areas that we really are passionate about. And for me, for Faith of Our Fathers, it was about veterans. Yeah, well, that's great. Well, what do you hope viewers will gain from watching this film? Well, I hope they'll gain that there is a God who created them and loved them so much that he gave his son to die on a cross 
and uh, and Jesus is is real, and Jesus is here for us, and He loves us. Uh, we will never know the amount of pain and and sacrifice that that Jesus went through so that we could have eternal life. And um, and the gospel is presented in a way that's very uh, very intimate. Yeah. And so and that was part of it was was that you know so that we could just have a conversation. It's it's in a conversational format, it's mm-hmm. um, like you and I are talking right now. Yeah. And, um, uh, and, and so, and also I want people to walk away with, to know that, you know, everybody is somehow connected to someone that has served in a war, mm-hmm. uh, so that we could have the freedom that we have today. Um, uh, I have, my brother and I have two uncles that served in Vietnam and both of them came home and, you know, this movie is for them, you know, and I know in our family, uh, lineage, um, and so everybody's got someone who, who somehow has touched a war. And, and I think this 4th of July, it's a wonderful way to be able to honor them and remember them. That's right. Well, I really appreciate your being our guest. For more information, people can go, can go to faithofourfathersmovie.com. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. All the theaters are, are listed at faithofourfathersmovie.com and just mm-hmm. find a theater near you. And if it's not near you, then just go to the website and request it. And so people are listening to those emails and just request it and say, hey, I, I'd love to learn more about how I can get this uh, movie in a theater near me and, um, and, and do it. And that this is how we get more faith-based, Christian-based good films into our theaters by supporting them when they're in the theaters right. and, right. uh, and buying our tickets and, and making right. your voice and your voice heard. Yeah, not waiting till it comes out on DVD. Yeah, yeah, not waiting. I mean, it's good to own it on DVD and whatnot. Yeah, but, we'll uh, do that later. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But this is where you make your voice heard and where you make a difference as a consumer. Because mm-hmm. movies aren't just made and, and controlled by the filmmakers, but the consumers have a voice in what movies come out. And this is where your voice is heard uh, when the movies come out in theaters. All right. Well, I hope it does really well because I, it was a great movie. So It's funny. It's poignant. Um, it's, it's great. So thank you. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, thank you.